So, so how'd you get this uh, Viper TV show uh, So it's a Dodge, def it's a okay. Dodge Defender that we got off a Bring a Trailer auction site. Oh, you got it on Bring a Trailer. Bought it from the original person, the owner that actually built it. Yeah. And he's out of Vegas. And it's the it's an actual movie car used in the movie. It's considered stunt car number two. Built on a Viper chassis. Um, built right from an RT10. Oh, okay. And uh, it has a, but now it has a 340 in it. That's what they used originally for the show. They took the Viper engines out. They felt they were too fast for the uh, show. Right. And uh, now it's mine, and I'm showing it, it at Carlisle. Because they were actors and not drivers, right? That's exactly right. Not race car drivers, but actors. Right. So, um. How long ago was this on Brain Trailer? Three months ago. Really? I've only got it. I've only had it for three months. Wow. The gentleman that had it before me, he had it uh, since 90, 99, I believe. Huh. And where, um, what state was it in? He's out of Vegas and he built 14 of these for the show. Really? And then they cr crushed 13 of them. Oh, uh, yeah. that. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a cool piece. Wow. It's a movie prop piece. It's, from, it's a Hollywood piece. It's not, it's not street legal. Yeah, I heard you say that. It's on a bill of sale, yeah. Bill of sale. That stinks. I have a car like this, can't drive around. I know, but it, it runs and drives. Cool. You could, you could jump in now and drive it home if you needed to. At least you can drive around the show field. Yeah, stuff, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah probably, so probably. I'm really fortunate to have it. I'm excited, and it's created a lot of excitement because a lot of guys remember the series. Yeah, back, oh, yeah. I loved, I loved it. I loved how they had cameos of other famous cars. Yes, like that. And yes. they wouldn't even be part of the show. They'd just be like sitting on the side street and stuff. Yes, that's <laughs> I'm right. Like, Whoa, that's, uh, that's, that's freaking stewed or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And it, I must have had a hundred, probably two hundred people at this point, tell me they remember the show and they they reminisced about when they were eight or ten. So I love it because it brings a smile to people's faces. Definitely, definitely. You know? and I I didn't re remember that there was four seasons of it. I had to look it up last night after I saw this car. I'm like, really? There was yeah, four? Yeah, I know. And, um, I kept telling people three, and another guy swears there was five. Kurt, how many seasons were there? Uh, four. Okay, you're right. Four. Yeah. yeah. So, so I was telling people three, but then there was a, I think the last season they had a GTS that transformed into this. Oh. Uh, huh. Yeah, so. And I, I got a buddy who's a you know, serious car guy too. He's like, I've never heard of that show. I'm like, a lot of people never heard of it for some reason. A lot of people didn't, yep. <laughs> But I, I latched onto it as soon as I saw it coming on. Well, one guy came through here, he made me laugh. He goes, I remember this cheesy show. I never missed it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he goes, I loved it. It was so cheesy. Yep. But uh, yeah, back in the 90s, that was the you know CGI and all that technology, what it was, right? Yeah. Yep. So it's pretty cool. It I'm is. glad that I could share it and people can enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, thanks for the info. Thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Take care.